Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about three minutes. Very quickly, when I say live, what I mean is that this is a situation where I'm recording myself, seeing the information, seeing the data for the very first time, compared to having already recorded everything and then coming back and explaining what's already happened. So this is not a trade recap. This is not some sort of post commentary. I literally don't know what's coming next. So if you just want an unscripted, nitty gritty look into what it's like to be a day trader, how day trading can play out, then this will be a video for you. So I will go ahead and pause for now and I'll be back at the open. All right, have an order at 925 here on the bid, trying to pick up some Tesla puts here. So Tesla, the stock itself is gonna need to probably push up to about 823 if I'm gonna have a chance. So hopefully I'm not too far away. So that's always the tricky part with options. Where the price of the option is going to be at the time the price of the stock is going to be. So watch that. And if that turns to green, that means I get filled. So I need it to push just a bit further up. Definitely going to need to get to 823 at least. You know, I believe this is going to want to take a, not crash or anything like that, but make a move to the downside. There we go. And for my opening allotment there at 925. Going to need to come down below nine or excuse me, 822 or to give myself a chance at profits, I would think. Maybe even a little bit further down below than that. Again, needs to come down below 822 to, like I said, even give myself a chance. A bit of a waiting game right now. Sitting at 822, gotta be able to push down through there though. So I'll take the 50 bucks. Gave that thing probably more time than I should have. It still may come down, but for me, that was supposed to happen a lot quicker than what it did. And if I'm being brutally honest with myself, yeah, I was, I was probably a little too greedy with that anyways and giving it too much time. Um, because at this point, I feel like it could go either way. It's already had a little bit of a pullback and it didn't pull back much. It still may come down. I'm not refuting that. Uh, but as you can see here, it's kind of knocking on those highs. Uh, just, I waited too long for that one to begin with. So, um, and right there, there it's going on new highs right there. Now, whether or not it continues is a is a different question. Now, if it wants to keep on pushing up, I'm willing to do the process again, but not at this point anymore. I need to see this thing get up over 825 before I would be interested in picking up some puts. But so, I mean, I, I was right, but not really. But that's the great thing about trading is you don't have to be perfectly right to still make money. So made 50 bucks from it. All right, so there it goes there. Uh, actually, let's check what I have been okay yet. Maybe. Okay, yeah, at this point I would have I would have gotten what I wanted, but that's hindsight and that uh, that would have been waiting way too long than what I was uh, you know, wanting to do. Uh, so, okay, well, 50 bucks on that one. Let's see what else I can find. And right there you can see that. <clears throat> Again, yeah, I would have been fine with that move down, but ultimately still headed up. So um, play that one just just fine. Well, I take that back. I didn't play just fine because I waited longer than I should have even in the first place. So I take back that statement. I am now looking to pick up some puts here at 975. So Tesla is definitely gonna need to get up over 830. Uh, but if it does, uh, then I'm interested in starting that process over and maybe you know timing it up a little bit better.
but I will pause for now. All right, have an order at nine. Need a little bit more momentum here on Tesla. I don't know, this is either stupid or smart. But I think I could potentially get filled at 875. But let's see. Need Tesla to push up through 832, probably get to about 833 to give me a chance. So there we go. Temporarily. Good, I'm at 875 down here. This is the options area down there. So we needed to push up just a tad bit more. All right, I don't like how it's goofing around so much down here. So now I, I just need to go to 850. <clears throat> All right, I will go ahead and pause, and if it looks like it's gonna come down through there, then I'll get the video rolling. Okay, approaching nine. So what I'm thinking is maybe a fast move down fills me at 8.50. And I'd hate to miss that on video, so figured I'd err on the side of caution, but. And again, I'm watching that right there. That's, that's the actual pricing that I care about, which, like I said, I'm at 8.50. And now that is increasing upward. So it's getting further and further away from me right now. But like I said, if that looks like it's going to break down through nine, then I'll get the video rolling at that point. All right, approaching nine, there's the move down through nine. Although not very quick. Changing that to 825. And now it comes back down. So yeah, clearly timing's a bit off on this one. But that's kind of how, whoop, that, all right, maybe we're back in play here. All right, I will pause. Okay, change my order down to 775. Which may be getting ready to come into play here. Oh, that was a move I wanted to. Didn't get it, <clears throat> so doesn't mean I have to give up on it. Just means I need to adjust the entry point. So now I'm at 750. Where are we at time-wise? Uh, not even at 10 minutes yet, okay. I am wondering if I should be changing strike price, go to something a bit more expensive. Because it's, you know, easier to get. And I am gonna do that. Let's go to 820 now, right? 820, yes, okay, that makes sense.
I'll look for 975 on these, but I'll pause for now. Okay, I have an order at 1450 here for puts. Getting close, nice in there, 1450. Let's see this thing up to 826. Nice, all out there for the scalp. $250, fantastic. If this wants to come back down, then I will be looking to take another trade on it. I would be interested next at, and I'm looking off screen here, uh, let's call it 821-ish. Let's just make it 820, a little bit easier. So if this thing wants to come down to 820, I would be lo looking to potentially take another trade on it. But uh, this thing has a bit more work to be done. But finally got the timing right there and that's why I like this strategy. When you do get the timing right, uh, it, it's, you know, these are sniper shots as I like to call them. Uh, I was in that trade for a total of, I don't know, 15 seconds. So 15 seconds, if that. 250 bucks, I am more than grateful for that. Uh, so now I'm up $300 on the day, but let's see if this thing wants to come back down a bit more. And then uh, if Tesla stock price itself wants to get down to around 820, I would be interested in potentially playing uh, another, taking another sniper shot on it. But I will go ahead and pause for the time being. I have an order at 1150 here. Pick up some puts. I'm actually thinking it should probably be around 11.25. Let's try that. I'm trying to time it up with one. Tesla's at 8.16. Nope. Maybe it's more so 10.75. Again, this is the guessing game. Trying to time it up around, like I said, that 816 mark. I will go ahead and pause. Okay, change it to 975 and it's getting potentially close. Just need a little bit more. Come on, Tesla, push up a tad bit more. And that was the move I needed. So now I'm at 950. Getting close. Came on best bid in. And out there for $125. But if this wants to come up to let's call it 823-ish, I would be interested again in starting the process over. But at this point, I'm, I'm certainly gonna be very high maintenance, because think about it, worst case, I don't get any more trades. I mean, I'm up 425 bucks. I'm, I'm more than happy with that. So at this point, certainly gonna be, now don't get me wrong, with the sniper shot strategy, you need to be high maintenance regardless, but I'm gonna be even more high maintenance. Uh, but yeah, if this thing wants to get up around the 824-ish mark, uh, I would be interested. But if it decides to roll over right here, then that'll be game over, and um, I'll move on with uh, move on with my day. But maybe just maybe this thing wants to make a push up. In fact, let me change strike prices now. Uh, Eight hundred twenty. Yeah, that one looks better. So yeah, I'll keep a close eye on it. Okay, I'm at fourteen fifty. In there, three contracts. 
How did I not get out? There we go. I was gonna say that was bonkers. I was best offer and didn't get out. Um, well, geez, if this keeps going, I am ready to start the process once again. Needs to get up to 8.30 though for me to be interested. What am I even at? Oh, up 500 now. Just did 300 just because at this point I'm up. I don't wanna risk taking some sort of trade and then giving everything back because that'd be super, super annoying at this point and not not really a good mental victory. you know. And as traders, that's kind of half the time that's what we're trying to do for ourselves, right? Is give ourselves mental victory since this is such a, a mentally taxing uh, pursuit. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and do two contracts now if it comes into play. Uh, so what was doing five on that one that you just saw was at three, now I'm at two. But now it's really just a question of, I mean, do I just move on with my day or, I mean, is it really worth it? Because even if I get with two contracts, I mean, I, yeah, I suppose it could be worth it. But I mean, I'm at $500 and as my slogan goes, you know, $500 a day keeps the day job away. So you know what, I am just gonna go ahead and wrap things up. I'm very happy. How many trades I'd even capture? From a video perspective, I'm even more excited. Uh, one, two, three, four trades, nice, I think. One, two, yeah, four trades. So there we go, a nice little variety. Um, all what I call sniper shots. And um, that's uh, you know one of the strategies I have. I'm not always doing these, not always trading options. Sometimes I'm trading the stock itself. Uh, but in this situation, it was a day of sniper shots. So four sniper shots, four targets hit, and ultimately walking away with $500. And like I said, $500 a day keeps the day job away. If you enjoy these videos, then one final request for me, please hit that like button and also leave a comment below. These are hard videos to make because they're genuinely live. I am talking to you. I am having to make my own decisions. I have to make alerts in the chat room. I have to manage my own trades. So there's a lot of stuff going on and I don't say any of that to ask for pity. I just say to explain why I don't make these every day and why I seek your feedback because I wanna know that you're still enjoying. Because if there's not an enjoyment, then I'm, I'm, not, I'm just not gonna spend the time doing it because they're, they're difficult. But if you do enjoy, then I have no problem at all continuing to enjoy it. So long way of saying, from a time management perspective, I just wanna make sure that you're still finding these interesting. So if you are, like I said, you can communicate that to me, hitting that like button, leaving a simple comment down below, even if you just say hi. But those two things, let me know that you're enjoying. And as long as I know people are enjoying, I will continue to make them. So everybody take care, have a good one, and uh, I hope things went well for you today. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.